Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing Series. In this tutorial, we will be learning about random module in Python. So let's begin. A random module in Python is basically a built-in library which is used to generate a random numbers and make the random selection. And when we talk about the automation testing, the automation testers can use it to generate the random test data. For example, random names, numbers or email addresses. They can also create the random input for their functional testing as well. And when we talk about this built-in library, there are some key functions which are very helpful. So for example, random dot random integer, it will generate a random integer. Then we have random dot choice. So it will pick a random element from a sequence like a list or tuple. Then we have random dot choices. So it will pick k random elements from a sequence with the replacement so that's a difference between choice and choices and then we have a random dot uniform so it's basically generate a random floating point number okay now uh, let's go to the pycharm over here and let's create some example over here so let me create a file and let me name it as let me name it as random module and now simply first we need to do is that we need to import this library so simply import random now for example you need you have a field uh, which takes the age and you need to provide a random value between 18 to 16 okay so let's see how you can do this simply i will say age is equals to random dot then we have random integer and I'll say it's between 18 comma 16. Okay. And simply I, if I go here and print age. Now let's run this one multiple times and see what happens. So first we got 49. Now run. We got 44. Now run again. So we got 26. So you see that we are getting a random value between 18 and 60 over here. Okay, again, 51, 55. And now let's generate some floating point over here. So simply what I'll say here, random underscore float equals to random dot, we have uniform right and let's go with the values over here so one point between 1.5 and 99.5 okay and let's print this one and see what happens over here so let me pass this variable in this print function and let's run this one so now we are getting 45.71 88.56 45.51 for 67.70 so you're seeing that we are getting the random values either it's a float value or integer value over here now let's take example of you know selecting a random item so for example you have a list of names and you need to pick a random name from that list so let me create a list first so names equals to and let's say testing then i will say test then i'll say funda then let's take another python then let's say random module so you see that we have a multiple names in this particular list now let's create a variable over here simply random i say random random underscore names equals to random dot so you see that we have choice and choices as well so let's go with the choices and i need a choices from this particular names and i need to provide some replacement so i will say k equals to 
k equals to 3 okay and now simply we go here and print this random name so let's see what happens over here so let me copy this one paste it over here and now run so you see that random module random module test because i say said that i need three okay so random module testing python random test test testing so if i remove this one from here okay if i go with this one and see what happens so python testing test so it's basically you know now when you're using the k is equals to three or two so you're getting that particular data from the list for your testing but if you remove that it basically giving a one value based randomly on this one okay so that's how you can actually generate the random names numbers floating values for your test scripts and let me summarize this one this random module is basically a built-in python library which is used to generate the random numbers and make the random selections and as an automation engineers we need to generate some random test data for example names numbers or email addresses we can do this using this particular library and when we talk about this particular library there are some key functions which we need to remember like we have random dot random integer we have random dot uniform we have random dot choices we have random dot choice and if i go here and let me type random dot so you see that we have choices uniform integer random choice so we have so many things coming up here you can go and explore these things in this particular library but there are some common ones which i showed you in this tutorial and when we talk about the different scenarios in the test cases so basically as a as an automation engineer in some cases i need some random username i i might need some random email address i might need to test some random value between for example 18 to 60 just like this one so i will go with this particular library instead of you know creating an excel file and getting a data from there right so you can use this library and make your scripts more robust thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial